hello guys uh, this is Paul the auto technician and today I'm working on this uh, 2007 Subaru Impreza uh, with an EJ15 engine and the issue it had was uh, real quick because I don't have the time to shoot this video uh, to the end I want just to walk you through what uh, is the problem with this vehicle okay so um, <coughs> This is the, the intake plenum or the intake manifold and we have these uh, cooling lines here for the, uh, the to cool the throttle body uh, so there's something I want to show you the importance of uh, using a uh, coolant on your vehicle uh, when you look at this uh, little craft pipe here this one here, the one that is corroded, this corrosion, it occurred as a result of uh, using water. Uh, first time they were using water, then they changed and they started using the cheap low quality uh, coolant. So that's why this destruction began and uh, we are even lucky enough that this engine was never damaged and we saved it on time. So this one here, it started as a small seepage, then it accelerated to full time uh, blown up leakage. This one here, as you can see, I can draw closer and see how this pipe is cor corroded. This one here, it comes from the water pump and it goes on to cool the, the throttle body. Then the other one goes to the heater core. Uh, inside the vehicle so <coughs> what I want to do is I want to show you the importance of using the right coolant for your vehicle uh, what I want to tell you is that uh, if you go and buy coolant from the shop make sure you buy the right uh, type of coolant because like this one to me it seems like it's made from uh, food coloring and you can see this uh, gunk is left here <coughs> these de deposits of residue that are left after the coolant saturates so this is purely water mixed with the uh, food coloring agents and I want to emphasize on you the, uh, the importance of using the right one now as a result of the, the slight seepage that aggravated to a full time blown uh, leakage uh, air was being drawn into the cooling system and the air pockets were created so the coolant wasn't flowing sufficiently inside the system so what that led to is because there is insufficient uh, coolant flow in the system the temperatures of the engine started start spiking up and as a result of that the vehicle had performance issues and uh, we had to check it out and take care of this problem so um, like you can see, this is a, it's a boxer engine. Uh, we have bank one and bank two. This is bank one, this is the bank two. And bank one is slightly leaning to the front. That's how you, you are able to differentiate them. Any vehicle, whether it's a Land Rover, whether it's a BMW, VW, whether it's a Kia or a Hyundai, the, 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 the V engine configurations or the boxer engine con configurations, bank one slightly leans to the front and bank 2 slightly leans to the back uh, like this one here you can see this is where bank 2 cylinder head starts uh, and this is where bank 1 cylinder head starts it's leaning towards the front more than bank 2 cylinder head so that's how you differentiate between the banks of the engine uh, so as I'm telling you make sure the, the items or the, the components that your vehicle needs or the lubricants they are the right ones they are actually even if they are not OE manufactured they meet OE specifications because uh, as you can see this one here this one to me looks like a uh, food coloring uh, the green color for food coloring uh, mixed with water and then as a result of that uh, being as a result of it reacting with heat these deposits were left here this gunk here or the residue so this engine these Subaru engines they are so sensitive 
they are extremely sensitive. If you just make the wrong, the, just the slightest wrong move, you are done. The engine is done. Because it's made of aluminium. Everything is aluminium here. So you have to be extremely careful. Very, very careful when you're dealing with uh, such an engine. Uh, because as you, as you can see, uh, we have this, uh, this seepage right here. And it was parasitic. So what was happening is uh, as the engine was running and there's leakage here seepage, the vehicle was doing yeah, in the cooling system. And as a result, we had a, a malfunction of the cooling system and the vehicle temperature was spiking up. So we had to try and save it on time before everything goes to the gallows. So what I'm emphasizing to you is uh, make sure you use the right oil, uh, the right coolant, the, the right lubricants, everything that is concerned in terms of uh, maintaining your vehicle and your engine uh, and make sure the parts are also the right ones because any slight move or mistake this engine is gone this engine is very sensitive uh, it's kind of like an egg you have to be very careful as you deal with it it's a little powerful engine yeah it's an ej15 uh, that's 1.5 liter and it's powerful uh, it has torque so, what I want to go to do is I want to continue on working on it. You can like the video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share it with your friends.